Okay, welcome back. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone. Today is Wednesday, hump day. We only have two more days till Friday, and we're walking out to temperatures. Very pleasant right now. Mid 70s and even the low 80s over here in Cortez. 81 degrees. Actually, we kind of skipped ahead, so I'll just go with it, right? Temperatures around the uh, country right now are cool up to the north. 66 in Minneapolis is what they're dealing with. 64 in Denver, but boy, they are dealing with some excessive heat warnings out here in Las Vegas. Temperatures well above 100 for highs. Right now, it looks like it's 81 in in Phoenix and probably lower 80s around Las Vegas, so it's, uh, it's cooled off, but they've been dealing with that. And uh, for us, our highs today are going to top out in the low 90s. And uh, once again, that's, you know, that's about average for this time of the year. But we will feel like it's 100 degrees outside with the heat index value. Now, if you're flying out of SRQ for today, it looks like there is no delays right now going to Atlanta, LaGuardia, O'Hare, or Charlotte. We can go there. We have dry air on top of the state of Florida, but it's kind of fading away. Remember, in the last few days, we've had a much more tan color on this graphic, which shows where that dry air is. But uh, now, not so much. We have an area of high pressure to the northeast of Florida. That is now slipping southward. And the return flow around it was bringing northeasterly easterly winds over the last few days. Now it's going to be coming up from the southeast and then eventually the southwest. And that southwesterly wind will start to ignite those showers in the morning hours moving onshore. Then with the heating of the day and the sea breeze convergence, since more of a southwesterly westerly wind will take place, the convergence will happen inland and then those showers and storms will be pushed further east. That's going to happen over the weekend and into early next week for the first day of school. But for today, we're still kind of in that transition period. We're calling for a 30 to 40% chance of shower activity, and those storms will fire in inland and then be tracking towards the coast. Looking at the tropics right now, well, we have a subtropical storm. This is called Debbie in the northern Atlantic. It's moving over cooler waters. Sure, it has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour, but as you can see, it's moving away from land up towards the north and northeast and will stay away from the United States. All right, the beach and boating forecast looks like this. South winds at 10 knots. Seas 1 to 2 feet just offshore with a light chop in the bays. Temperature at the beach today will be about 90. Expect for the most part, most of the day, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Then in the afternoon, a little more cloud cover, and those showers and storms will get going and then push offshore towards the Gulf of Mexico. So 91 will be our high today, mostly sunny skies, and then we'll have an easterly, southeasterly wind becoming southwest in the afternoon. Breaking down the next seven days, for tomorrow and Friday, only a 20% chance of shower activity. That's our transition period. And then over the weekend is when we'll have more of that southwest westerly wind. It's going to be muggy. We're going to have uh, lows in the upper 70s and low 80s and the showers and storms few in the morning not a big deal but the bigger heavier storms will take place inland and then as I said those westerly winds the steering winds will take those storms and push those eastward and then now will be the case for the first day of school next Monday uh, and the bus stop may be going uh, back home uh, there may be a few showers and storms but I said again the uh, Heavier storms would be well inland. We're talking maybe east of I-75 and then push eastward as we go through later evening hours. And that looks to be the case lingering into Tuesday and then more drier filters in next Wednesday and we're calling only for like a 20% chance.